Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Angela, and today is day 68, 68 days of drawing together. Now, today's going to be a little different because we're not going to draw a character, but we are going to try to draw my very favorite painting in the whole wide world. We are going to do Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night. Now that is my background every day when I, when I paint and draw with you. I have my big wall that's all drawn in the starry night. I'm even wearing my starry night dress today just for the occasion. So grab your pencils and your paper. You're going to want your coloring box today. You're going to want your crayons and your markers and your colored pencils because today it's going to use a lot of color. Vincent Van Gogh loved color. As you can see, we have almost every color in the rainbow behind me. So that's what we're going to do today. Are you ready? All right, I am going to tip this down and I think I'm gonna even move this up a little bit so you can see it really well. Now you are using a pencil to draw your things in. I'm going to use marker so mine, you can see it from home. But if I were to do this on my own, I would do this with pencil first and I would put in all my shapes and then I would go in and add the colors. So we have Starry Night behind us. That is what we're gonna do right here on this board. Now, I usually start out by putting the moon in place. I put the moon in. And remember, if you do this in pencil, you're not gonna see these big black lines like I'm doing. And then I go ahead and I put the circles in where I want my stars to be. And now, if you want, if your parents want to print you a picture of Starry Night before you begin, then sometimes it's easy that you can look at it and do it right from the picture too. So I have put my stars all in place, all these stars, that's where they're gonna be. And this is just a sketch so I know where to put my colors. Now in the front here, I'm gonna add another star right there. And in the front here, it almost looks, see right over here, it looks almost, people think it's a big flame or fire or something, but it's actually a cypress tree. So we are gonna put that shape in there, but it has kind of a flame look to it. So we're just gonna put some nice sharp, and if it's not exactly like Vincent Van Gogh's, that's okay. Now, he has, Vincent Van Gogh had a way of drawing that even though it was just a picture on the wall, it looked like it was moving. So he made shapes that looked like they were moving. So he has a big wind kind of almost flowing in through here. See how I made the big curve? And then I'm going to make another one right like this. We'll make another big swirly whirly right there. So we've got the basic shapes for our starry night. I'm going to put another star there because we want a lots, of, lots and lots of stars. Now in here, we're not going to draw a whole lot of the village because that will take up too much time. So if you have time, you can put more houses. But I am going to put the one thing that always shows up most in here. I'm going to put a little house and see how I made it sideways. And then I'm going to put a steeple on it. And we're going to put the steeple right up into the sky. And then I'll just put a couple more little houses. And they don't have to be perfect. They're just to give us the idea that there's a little town down here. And there's a lot more houses. If you look at the picture, there are a lot more houses than this. Let's go ahead and make a hill behind here and another one like this. And we're really, really simplifying this picture because it would take a long time if we really drew every single bit of it. Now I will show you how I do this, but you can do it any way you want. I usually try to get my stars in there first. So I am going to draw, I'm going to draw my moon in orange. Now I'm going to be coloring pretty quickly. So you don't want, um, you, you could take your time more when you're doing this. And I'm going to put the orange all in my stars too, the center of my stars. That way I kind of hold them in place. Because I don't want to by accident draw over the top of them. And then, just to make it more like Starry Night, because Van Gogh did all kinds of little lines around. I follow the shape of my moon. I'll follow the shape around my stars. Remember, I'm doing this pretty darn fast. And then I'll do this, and I'll go around this one, and I'll go around each one of these stars until I have kind of, it looks almost like a halo going around them. Now, I've seen, I've, we've done this picture many times in my studio, and people draw it different ways. Everybody has their own way they draw it. I even had one woman, she drew it all in purples and pinks. It was really awesome. It was awesome. So there's another thing that you are the artist, you do it your way. All right, now, I would go around all of these with some yellow, 
And I would, you could even color in a little bit more. It's up to you, it depends on how much. And you can go outside of these orange lines. And this is gonna look a little bit messy when we're done, but like I said, drawing this fast is kind of hard, but. And then I put all these yellow lines in around there. See how they kind of touch each other? And I'm making big circles and I'm kind of doing sketchy. See how my hand just kind of touches down and it just leaves some color and then goes to a new place. I try not to draw big circles, like when we're drawing a cartoon and we draw a perfect circle. This is not about perfect circles today. All right, I'm hoping you can see all this color on here. Oopsie, it's kind of big over here. It's going, getting all wishy-washy on me. Okay, I'm getting more on here. There we go. And this is just the start of the sky. Now we've kind of got all our stars in there. Now you're going to use some different blues. Now I want to find, I want to find a light blue. And I don't know where my light blue is right now, so I guess I'm going to have to use dark blue. And then my dark blue, I'm going to do, let's go in here and get this. Let's start making these, and remember, little lines. They're just like sketchy lines. That's what makes it look like it's moving. And we're going to draw this right here that's kind of going around we want to give the feeling of movement so we want to go right along with our black lines and make it move this is when it pays to be kind of messy with your painting today all right we've got that in there and then i'm going to add hmm i'm going to add some lighter blue i'm going to color in some blue in between here put some blue in the sky up here and around you can color in, you know what, if you had a piece of blue paper to start with, even a light blue paper, that is really, that would be cool. And then we'll put some down here. And the sky is really fun. Take your time with it. Take your time with it. I'm just doing it fast so you can kind of see how to do it. See how mine is really messy. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be embarrassed when this is all done. Now I'm going to take another kind of blue and I'm going to, maybe I'll add more blue in here. I'll make this more dark so it really shows up in the sky. And you're just going to blend these colors in and just keep blending. And this video might take a little longer today because it's, I'm going to put some around my stars again. And take your time with this. Maybe your moms and dads want to try this one too, because this is a fun one. This is a, you know, it's my favorite. It is my favorite. Okay. Let's put some of this color around here. If I could find that light blue in the meantime, I'll be putting some light blue in here. Oh my goodness, this seems so, so messy to me, but that's okay. Oh, why can't I find my light blue? I found this little tiny piece of light blue. I'm gonna use it, it's itsy bitsy. And then I'll just even add some more colors in here. And you can kind of color in too, if you want. If you have pastels, this is a great day for pastels because pastels will blend all into each other. And I'm just adding some blue around here. And you can go back in if you think, oh my gosh, I added way too much blue. You can add more orange later. You can add more blue. You can do it any way you want. Like I said, I had that one lady, she did it all in pinks and purples, and that was pretty darn awesome. Now, speaking of purple, I think we're gonna make this mountain right here purple. And we're gonna cover this whole mountain. Now, remember, I really, really simplified this picture. It means I didn't put in all the things in it that are really in it because we want to get done today too. I don't want to still be drawing this tomorrow for you. Okay, we're going to color in over here. And I forgot that side of my mountain, so I'm just going to put the color in there. Oh, I like it, I like it so far. I even like this purple so much, I am going to put some purple up in the sky. All about color today, all about color. And maybe I'll even put some more in my, in my swirly sky here. That'll really make it look like it's swirling. Oh, I like it, I like it, I like it. Okay, a little more around here. Didn't know that you could, today we're gonna have just a scribble picture. Look at how scribbling turns out, how so cool. 
Now let's see, I am going to put, let's go ahead and we're gonna put the cypress tree on here. Now it's kind of browns and greens, so I'm just gonna make some lines like this. And I'm not really, I'm leaving some spaces so I can put some more color in there. Not coloring it in all solid. So right now I'm using brown. And then I'm gonna grab some green. And I put some green in here. And then I kind of, it kind of fills in the spots that the brown isn't in. It's looking awesome. And then I'll maybe even take, do I have some gold up here? I do have some gold up here. Maybe I'll even put some gold in it. So all these colors are blending. What do you think? Is it looking like the starry night so far? All right, we're gonna go back in and I am going to color just a little bit of gold in the sky. Now I'm using pastels, so I am able to rub this, and then when I rub it over the top of the pastels, it kind of blends the pastels in together a little bit. This is a great drawing or a great painting to do in pastels. It's even better to do in paint, but like I said right from the beginning, since we're all kind of trapped in our houses for so long, I don't want to do something that would be really hard for you to get supplies. I'm going to step over to this side and I'm going to put some more yellow in here. You see how I'm just putting all kinds of colors together here? And it's making a really, really pretty sky. I'm just doing all kinds of things. But like I said, if you had a light blue paper or a dark blue paper or something, that would be really awesome because then you could start out with that color. And I'm going to add some more blues to my little swirl here. Now this is a drawing that you can go back to all day long and keep adding things and saying, well, that didn't show up, so I'm going to add a little more blue here. And this didn't show up, so I'm going to add a different color here. It's a fun one. It's fun because it, it moves and it swirls and it is just so much fun. All right. Oh, how's it looking? Is it looking okay? Is it looking like Starry Night? And you see, I'm just adding more and more and more and more and more and more, more, more color. Woo, I love color. Now, I'm going to add, where can I, I'm going to put this tr tree in just a little darker so it doesn't blend in with the sky because I'm using a lot of the same colors. So you want to make sure you can see them. Now, if you have a really hard time doing the, just getting all the basic shapes in here, you can go online and all you do is type in the word starry night coloring page and you'll be able to get a coloring page and print it out and you can color it sometimes that's a good way to start if you're having a hard time getting the shapes and getting where things should be is to get a coloring page and color it but do what i'm doing add lots of color don't just color it just the sky's blue so you color blue or the tree is brown so you color brown use all kinds of colors together all right now we're going to see i'm going to do a little bit of a blue hill here I know hills aren't really blue, but sometimes when the light hits them, they have a blue color to them. And it's all about color. So we have another mountain here. And we are simplifying. We have kind of wiped out the poor town. We don't even have it in here because we're trying to do this fast and I don't want to overwhelm you. Overwhelming means to you just look at it and go, oh, no way, I'm not doing it, it's too hard. So you should try everything, try everything. And then we'll go ahead and put some green in here. Maybe I'll put some light green in. And I think I'll just try to cover this area in for right now. So we have all the colors in here. Oh, I like that green color. And then I'm going to step over here and I'm going to do this part of the green. And then there are some bushes in there. I don't know if you can see them right here. I don't know if I'm going out of the frame. There's some bushes down here. So we're going to add swirls just like this. Just put like seeds. And then they're kind of all over the place. It gives it more texture. And then we'll put some up in here. And you can just be scribbly at this point. We're just trying to add color and just try to blend colors today. All right, and I'm gonna do, maybe I'll do my house. We'll do this a little bit in, we'll do a little bit of color in, not too much color in them. And we'll put some here. And we're just, I'm just coloring a little bit of color so that the houses just don't stay white down here. But they're all different colors. Like I said, if you print this up, it'll, you'll be able to see. 
Okay, and maybe I'll even add some black in here. And maybe I'll even add some black in my mountain here. So I want you to try this. And like I said, it is not easy by any stretch of the imagination. This was a very famous painter. So he, he spent every day drawing and painting. So I don't expect you to be able to do this in just a day. And remember, you can go back. Go back and use the colors. If it's not bright enough, go ahead and add some yellow around here. Add some yellow, more yellow in here. And look at now, I'm just doing big circles with yellow. But like I said, I'm using pastels, so it makes it a little easier to blend. But crayons, you could kind of do the same thing with too. Okay. Oh, lots and lots of color in this. I like it. I think that's probably why I like this painting so much. There's, there's so much color in it. When I had this big wall in the studio and I didn't know what to do with it, I thought, okay, what's your very, very favorite, favorite painting in the whole wide world? And I thought, starry night. So that's what I did. I decided to do a big starry night on my wall. And the funny part is when people come at the end of the day, when they want to, at the end of the class, when they want to take their picture, standing with, you know, whatever they painted, they always want to stand in front of this wall because it's so bright. All right, it is a little tiny bit messy, but I'm trying to be fast. So I want you to try Starry Night today. Remember, if it just gets too hard to do this, keep it simple or go ahead and print up a coloring page from the internet and try blending all your colors. Starry Night is a great one. So thank you for joining me, everybody, and I will see you tomorrow. And I do what I tell you every day. I want you to be safe, and I want you to listen to your parents and wash your hands. I want you to be creative, and I want you to be kind to each other. So draw a starry night, and we'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Bye-bye now.